Hello everybody, this is Tech Hut. What I have here is an iPhone. It's not my iPhone, it is my fiance's iPhone. But she has granted me the privilege to use it temporarily to show you guys the new KDE Connect for iOS. Now, it's kind of a thing that iPhones are moderately difficult to get set up and connected to Linux properly, but with the new KDE Connect for iOS, it should be significantly easier. Now, right here is the iPhone, and there's a couple extra steps that you have to do to get it because it's still currently in beta. You have to use an application called Test Flight. You can see I actually already have it installed. I haven't really opened it up yet, but what you're gonna want to do is go to the link in the description through your iPhone after you already have test or yeah test flight installed and hit the link and it's going to open up test flight and then it's going to give you the opportunity to join the beta for KDE Connect. Now one thing I need to do real quick is actually install KDE Connect on this system right here. Now this is GNOME so it's not KDE so what I'm going to have to do is get a GNOME extension uh, called GS Connect I believe. Here we are GS Connect is a complete implementation of KDE Connect specifically for the GNOME shell. It is updated to 41 thankfully I didn't check that before I started recording. There we go and if I go over here I should see mobile devices and I have no devices available as of yet. So let's go over to our iPhone here let's open up KDE Connect and here we have a thing devices connected devices there are currently no connected devices no discoverable devices so I'm going to assume I'm going to hit these uh, buttons up here on the top. I'm going to refresh my discovery and I can see I have Tech Hut, which is the uh, name I've given to this Arch machine. So I'm just going to give that a tap, start the pairing process. And you can see on here I have a request to pair from iPhone. So I'm going to go ahead and give that an accept. And it says the pairing has been successful. So I'm going to say nice which is a wonderful selection for a dialog box. But let's see what I can actually do in this app here. I can uh, push local clipboard, send files, run command, or remote input. Uh, let's uh, remote input, see if I can control my uh, computer. So move a finger on the screen to move the mouse cursor, and yep, there we are. You can see I am currently uh, controlling the computer as if this is a trackpad. I wonder if it has multi-touch. Nah, nah that, that would be too cool. If I go over here in the top and hit this, uh, we can send a single click, left click, right click, send a middle click, uh, sensitivity slider, and all that fun stuff. So the most important thing, in my opinion, with uh, connecting an iPhone to your Linux machine is sending files. So I temporarily took off the iPhone because I'm going to browse through these files real quick, and I don't know if she wants me to... Uh, not show anything here. I'm going to go ahead and send this one right here, the uh, IMG0799. Give that a tap, and we can see the transfer was successful over here. So if I go to uh, open folder, you can see some of the images that I went ahead and uh, sent over. So that's awesome. It's working very well. And let's go ahead, go over here, go under phone. You can see my current battery percentage, and this will look moderately similar on KDE Plasma. This is literally all the same features and everything like that. Uh, ring, which is nice. Share, uh, turn off, and mobile settings. So if I give this a ring, um, I already have the screen on, so it says found it. I did find it. And then I could go back to that iPhone. If I hit share, so send files to iPhone. Let's see if it's going to let me. Let's go ahead and just send one of these uh, Endeavor OS wallpapers. Let's send this to the iPhone. Okay, so it closed the app. KDE crashed. Okay, so it is in beta. So that's one thing that they are probably working on. Um, I'll, I'm going to go ahead and share that with them and fill this out real quick. There we go. Filled out the feedback. It's always good if software is in beta and there's an obvious crash you can report or something like that happens. It's always good to send the developers feedback, even if it's something little like this. So submit. So far it's looking pretty good. Uh, most of the features work just fine. Uh, anyways, the features that I care about, I care more about sending things from the phone to the computer. So what I would need it for is perfectly functionable and it is in beta. So there are going to be things like that here and there. So the instructions on how I did this and the link to uh, actually get the join for that, uh, what is it, test flight or something like that? Yeah, test flight will all be down below. With that, I'd love to thank our YouTube members and Patreon supporters. We have Mitchell Valentino, Phil Matt, Kyle, Timo, Anthony, Sledgehammer, and Chris Curtis. 
Thank you guys for being some of the top tier Patreon supporters, and thank you to all the other Techie and Techie Plus members who choose to support the channel. I do uh, appreciate it very much. If you're interested in supporting, join button down below or head over to Patreon. But the, the thing that is most important to me out of all is that you all watch and hopefully enjoy these videos. So make sure you're subscribed and you ring that bell so you do not miss any future content. With that, have an absolutely beautiful day and goodbye.